Hi, Dave Jones here again. Um, we're going to look at um, a song today. It's called Redemption Songs by Bob Marley. It's a great little acoustic song. Um, it's got uh, relatively simple, all open chords in it. Um, it's just got a verse chorus section and it's got quite a nice little intro that's um, got a few little hammer ons in. Um, so, what I'll do is I'll play you through each section and then I'll, uh, I'll do a close up of the, um, of the intro for those of you who might, those of you who might need it. Um, showing you the hammer-ons and, and that sort of thing. So um, here we go, I'll show you the intro first and then we'll just move on. Okay, so here's the intro. So like I say, I'll go through that in the, uh, in the end and um, at the end I'll give you a little close-up of it. Okay, so I'll play you through the verse section, and um, it's got G, e, G chord, E minor chord, C chord, a chord called G over B, don't worry too much about that at the moment, um, basically it's a G chord, but you play from the A string downwards, giving you a B note in the bass, it's called a slash chord, I'll go into that at some stage, and followed by an A minor chord, you do that three times if you're following the PDF, the PDF's up on the website, so do feel free to print it off, and then you've got another section that goes G, E minor, C, D, one bar of each. So if I just play you through that section, um, and uh, and then I'll, I'll go through, I'll do, do the, the chorus, and then I'll go through everything uh, slowly and talk about it a bit more. So here we go. stays on that chord there, the D chord at the end, until you go into the uh, the chorus section of the song. And uh, okay, the chorus section of the song um, is uh, contains um, G, E minor, C and D. Um, and every second bar of the chorus is a split bar. So you've got a full bar, and the, the same uh, strumming pattern that I notated, if I didn't mention it for the verse, is down, down, up, up, down, up for each full bar. And in the, uh, in the chorus, the split bars go down, down, up, first chord, down, down, up. Um, and don't worry too much about the tab for the chords. Um, if you just look at the chords, if you look, look at the PDF, if you look at the chords written above, if you put your fingers on the chords, you're holding all the right uh, numbers for the tab down, so you just strum the chords. So um, the chorus section, we've got um, G, C, D, G, C, D, E minor, C, D, G. straight back into the uh, verse section of the song again. So um, just to mention that verse section of the song, um, I use the same, I, I think I meant, forgot to mention it, but I use the same strumming pattern. Down, down, up, up, down, up for the four bars. And then on the C, I use just down, down, and on the G over B, down, down, and then on the A minor, four bar, down, down, up, up, down, up. Like I say, you repeat that three times, then your G, E minor, C, D is your verse section, uh, one bar of each. Um, I don't think you probably really need a close-up of the chords. Um, the uh, the G over B. Don't worry about it too much if you're a beginner. You could play a G chord there. It would sound it would sound kind of cool as well. Um, the reason they use the G over B is because you get C, G over B, A minor. So you get a little bass run, which is a quite common thing to do on an acoustic guitar, um, accompanying songs and such like. Um, and the strumming pattern that I've notated and suggested that you use will work absolutely fine with the song, but um, obviously uh, Bob Marley uses a different, like he changes his strumming, I was listening to the song, he changes his strumming throughout the song, but um, if you use this strumming pattern it'll make you change chords in the right place, and uh, that's the important thing, so you can accompany yourself, and it's not that important if you strummed it again. Um, it, it would be slightly different. So uh, I'll just do a little close-up now for those of you who need it on the intro section because I don't think you really need a close-up on the chords. Okay, so here we go with a, um, a close-up section on the on the, um, on the the intro there. What, what, what we're doing is, uh, like I say, it's handy if you've got the tab for this, but we're doing, um, uh, we're starting at the third fret on the, uh, on the thick E string, playing that note, open A string, and then a hammer-on from zero to two. 
So what I'm doing there is I'm banging this finger against the, the fret, so. And then back to the third fret on the uh, thick E string. And then as a hammer on, open to three on the A string. Then open to two on the D string. Open D string. Second fret on the A string. And then we've got a phrase that's a little bit similar. You start on the third fret of the E string. Play that note. Open A. And then a quick hammer on. Down to the D string open. Second fret of the A string. And then staying on the second fret of the A string, you hammer from two to three. Two on the A string, open A string, third fret on the E string. And that's the top line. And then there's a sort of almost like an answer phrase to it in the second line if you're following the tab. Third fret of the uh, thick E string again, A string open, hammering on at the second fret of the A string from the open. Um, third fret of the thick E string. And then hammering on from on the A string from O to three, and then O to two on the D string, D string open, second fret of the A string, then three on the E string, open A, hammering on to two, open D, and then on the A string three two O, and then three on the uh, the G note which is a third fret of the thick E string to finish it off. And that's your intro section. Um, what I would do if, if you're a, a bit of a beginner at this sort of thing is learn it very, very slowly and learn it in sections, uh, not, not necessarily bars, but in phrases. So dum, 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 make that your first phrase and then add your next phrase, etc. As, as far as you can remember and, 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 and actually uh, do accurately before moving on to the next thing. If you need any uh, uh, tips on hammer-ons, on the lesson section of the website, I've got, I think, I think it's called Slurring 1, Slurring Exercise 1. It moves, um, it shows you hammering on up a G major pentatonic scale, which is a, a good thing to start doing. Um, if you ha can't hammer on yet and you still want to play the song, you could get the same thing. It'd be slightly simplified, but you could get the same thing by... So I just played that first phrase, but I didn't hammer on any of the notes. So I didn't do... So you're still getting the same note. So if you're a, a relative uh, beginner, feel free to do that to start with. So you still have a, a quite a well-known riff under your fingers and um, you can move on to the hammer-ons when you feel ready. So I hope you feel that, uh, find that lesson useful and um, I'll see you again sometime.